Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Where's videos and today we will be looking at vertical and adjacent complementary angles level two. We're going to look at some vertical angles, some supplementary angles, and some complementary angles and use those properties to find missing angles in different uh, shapes. So let's take a look. All right, so here's our first example. It says find the measure of the missing angles. You've got angle Y and angle X um, and what we want to do is find out what those measurement lengths are so we know that you know this angle over here is 90 degrees this angle is 60 uh, this angle right here is a whole is 90 degrees because of the little square means 90 right there so that's some of the information we got if we take a look here we know that this angle right here what is this angle right here is 90 degrees so I'm working with this one because the 60 is here, see? And that's 90. So I know that this X plus this 60 added together is going to equal 90. So I'm going to write that down. X plus 60 equals 90. Now that I know that, I can subtract 60 on both sides and end up with the 60s cancel out. 90 minus 60 is 30. So I know that this is 30 degrees here. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to find y. We want to find y right here. So to find y, uh, we're going to use vertical angles. So I know that right here, this angle, this whole angle from here to here, and this whole angle right here from here to here is vertical, right? That means they're equal to each other. So since this one over here on the bottom is 90, that means these two together add up to equal 90. So that's what I'm going to write. I'm going to say y plus x, or in this case 30 degrees, y plus 30, it's going to add up to equal 90. And now I'm going to solve for y by subtracting 30 on both sides, and y is equal to 60. All right, let's take a look at another example. All right, here, find the measure of the missing angles. We've got three angles we're looking for, E, D, and F, okay? So it seems like it's hard, but it's not. Um, it's really easy because most of these are vertical right here. So I know at the beginning here, 70 across from this D over here, this is a vertical angle, so D is 70 degrees. They equal. And then across from the E is this 87. That's a vertical angle. They're equal. All right. So I've got two of my three angles right there. Now I know that I've got to find this E, F, and, well, I've got the E, I've got the D. I've got to find F now. Okay. Now I have a vertical angle across from it, but I don't have the measurement for it. So what I can do is do this. This angle here, E plus F plus D, adds up to equal 180 because of the line. See the straight line right here? So from E to F to D, that's 180 degrees. So I'm going to take the 87 plus the 70 and plus the F, add it together, and set it equal to 180 degrees. Now I'm going to take the 87 and 70 and add them together. I get 157. Subtract 157 on both sides. And you get F is equal to 23. And that's what I got. So, you know, each problem is going to be a little different. You got to kind of figure out it based off of properties what's true and what's not true but just take your time go step by step and solve each angle and that's it and i want to thank you for checking out mr Ware's videos have a nice day